You're watching Maggie from Real Estate Salesperson at Miranda Real Estate Group Incorporated, 518-348-2060. Hi, and welcome to today's video. My name is Maggie, and I have a blog that's called Honestly Maggie, where I write about real estate and home-related things. So today's video is all about ways that you can give thanks and gratitude to your clients, vendors, and referral sources. So in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I thought I would share this video with five ideas that I have, which you can implement not only for Thanksgiving, but for the future as well. So. Let's get into it. The first idea that I have is to host a Thanksgiving pie event at your office. Every year, me, my broker hosts this event at each of our offices. And to prepare for this event, we send out invitations to our clients and referral sources and vendors who we've done business with in the last year. And we offer them a free Thanksgiving thank you, which is an, an apple or a pumpkin pie. We send them a Google form for them to fill out with their name and information and the type of pie that they would like. And then we host the event at a specific date and they can either come and pick up their pie or we can hand deliver it. And this year for the very first time, I'm actually hand delivering all of the pies to my clients and referral sources. The second idea that I have to show thanks and gratitude to your clients is to host a client appreciation event. Now, this is something that will probably take about a few weeks at least, maybe months to prepare. An example of this is every year, some friends of mine at my office, we host an Easter bunny event. So we invite our clients with families and children to come to our office and meet the Easter Bunny, have their photo taken with their Easter Bunny, and then participate in games, activities. We actually had a real live bunny there last year where they could pet the bunny and just, you know, just a way for them to, it's much more personal than having them like go to the mall or go to a studio to have it taken. And um, it just, it's a way for you to say thank you and give gratitude to those who you did business with. The third idea that I have is to host a seminar or a um, educational event for your clients or future clients. And an example of this is to invite a home inspector to come and talk about what they could look for in their home inspection. Um, you can invite a mortgage lender to come and talk about the mortgage process and loans and the pre-approval process and the different types of mortgages that they can get. Another idea that I'm thinking about doing next year is to host a home maintenance seminar where I invite a plumber, an electrician, a contractor, and then I can have clients come and they can ask these people questions about their home that, um, that they've been wondering about. So this is just an, an, a way for you to show appreciation to your clients and let them know that, hey, I know you bought a house this year and maybe you have a few questions that you have, so I'm gonna host this event so you can learn how to maintain your home much better and be a better homeowner. The fourth and kind of non-conventional way that you can give thanks and gratitude to your clients is to stay up to date on your continuing education but choose classes that offer a designation. So for example, this past year, I took two continuing education classes that offered a designation. One of them was a relocation specialist and the other one was a real estate negotiation expert. And then, so now these are titles that I can put on my business card and I'm kind of building up a resume to show future clients, look, I've invested in my education so that I can be a better real estate agent for you. And that's just another way that you can show your professionalism and you can separate yourself from the competition and also really give back to your clients by having that added value. The fifth and final way that you can give thanks and gratitude to your clients is just a good old fashioned card in the mail. And this can be anything from, hey, I'm thinking about you, hope everything's well in your new home, to 
a house anniversary, like happy anniversary on your house, first, second, third, or if you haven't been in business for very long and you're looking to, you know, put yourself out there, send birthday cards to people and just a good old fashioned happy birthday, hope you're well, and when you're ready to buy or sell a house, please keep me in mind. Very simple that you can show your appreciation to people and let them know that um, you're thinking of them. So that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave any other suggestions or um, ideas that you have in the comments below. I'd love to know if you're in real estate, what are things that you do to give thanks and gratitude? Or if you've just bought a house and you're looking for ideas, what, how can we as real estate professionals better serve you? Um, yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification button if you would like to get notified. And please hit the thumbs up if you liked this video. Thank you so much and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.